is right down the middle. So if you think you're on this side of me, go to that side. If you think you're on that side, go to that side. If you're not sure if you're ambiguous, <laughs> ambiguous, because <laughs> I graduated college, uh, then you can choose whatever side you want. But what's going to happen is this side, I want you to pay attention to Jenny. Whenever you think Jenny in this scene has a moment where she just needs to let her inner monologue out, like in Dawson's Creek, I want you all to scream, Dawson's Creek! She'll just step forward and give it to you. She'll lay it out on the line. This side, you're going to do the same thing for Brian. Then once the two of them have both done their own individual Dawson's Creek, then they're going to say, shout Dawson's Creek for the two of them to do it together. So, can I get a suggestion for this scene? How about a relationship? <laughs> Wait, I heard something in the way back. What was that? Lovers. Chuck Norris and a Lovers. 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 Pregnant. Chuck Norris and Apprentice. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I'm going to go with surrogate mother. <laughs> and the other relationship to the surrogate mother, we're going to find out. So um, I'm going to give the mic over here. I want you guys to clap as loud as you can for Dr. Frank. There. I think it's all set. Heather. I have something to talk to you about. I know we're about to go through with this. Right. I'm ready. You're my surrogate mother. I'm ready for it. I have 300% trust in you. Good. That's a lot. So I want you to be honest. I feel like we have a very honest relationship. Okay, great. Yeah. What were you doing Thursday night? Jenny. <laughs> I didn't know you was going to find out that not only do I have leukemia of the eyeball, but I was sleeping with the eye doctor, so so he's not going to know if, if I have his, his baby and his partner's baby, or if I have Mr. Wilson, the optometrist's baby, and what if I pass on the leukemia of the eyeball to the baby? He's gonna have a magical eye like Mad Eye. <laughs> Maybe it just won't work at all. And how can I sign these papers when I know that I myself can't even see what I'm signing for? <laughs> I know about the eye doctor. Do you know how much money I've been giving to you, Clarence and myself? Thousands upon thousands of dollars. You insisted on living with us. I let you lounge at my pool. And I apologize for drinking all of your Sunny D. I'm just trying to get in the mood. That's where it went. <laughs> that was great. She was unaware that Sunny D is the only thing that keeps me living. <laughs> I have been walking around for weeks trying to figure out where my Sunny D went. <laughs> and that bitch who's supposed to be carrying my baby drank it off. Well, fuck, hopefully the baby won't like Sunny D. <laughs> but, you know what, I, I know what she was doing last Thursday. That better be my baby in there. <laughs> or else we will have the entire gay community on her ass. You know, Gerard, if it makes you feel any better, I know I don't have anything in me yet, but I can feel it kicking. Just the, just the thought of... The thought of <laughs> you do realize that we're about to put the baby into you now, yes, so there shouldn't be anything kicking. <laughs> The prospect, or is that your? I want to have your baby. I need the money. <laughs> Jared, what what do you want me to tell you right now that'll make you feel better? <laughs> Does he want to know that I have leukemia of the eyeball? Do I tell him that now? Or... Does Does she need to know that I have her head on bounty for the entire gay community? <laughs> Held for ransom? That's my womb. I've paid for that womb. It's not even her own womb anymore.
anymore. It's mine. I have waited my whole life, and I've had this feeling in my stomach that I am supposed to carry someone else's baby, not for me, and not take care of it. And I have to have that feeling fulfilled. She's only doing this because she doesn't want the responsibility of having a fucking baby. <laughs> I don't want the responsibility of having a fucking baby. <laughs> <laughs>